بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Continue on in our درس أصول السنة by Imam Ahmed رحمه الله تعالى We reached the portion of the treaties where Imam Ahmed said قال رحمه الله and this is درس this is the uh, tenth درس I believe tenth or eleventh قال Imam Ahmed وَمِنَ السُنَّةِ اللَّازِمَةِ الَّتِي مَنْ تَرَكَ مِنْهَا خَصْلَةً لَمْ يَقْبُلْهَا وَيُؤْمِنْ بِهَا لَمْ يَكُونْ مِنْ أَهْلِهَا الْإِيمَانِ بِقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ وَتَصْدِيقِ بِالْأَحَادِيثِ فِيهِ وَالْإِيمَانِ بِهَا لَا يُقَالُ لِمَا وَلَا كَيْفَ إِنَّمَا هُوَ التَّصْدِيقُ وَالْإِيمَانُ بِهَا قال الإمام أحمد رحمه الله تعالى He said, and from the sunnah is that whoever, meaning from the usula ahla sunnah, that whoever leaves and doesn't accept anything from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or believe in it, then he is not from them. And that seems like a very simple pr- uh, principle, however many people believe otherwise, or practice in practice, practice otherwise. Meaning they leave many of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and think that it's okay, think that it's not relevant, it's not relevant in this time, so they don't practice it. Or perhaps they don't even believe in it. So there's no way you can say that yes, so-and-so is from Ahl sunnah so-and-so is from Ahl sunnah and they don't believe and support the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's imperative for us to understand this concept. And then Imam Ahmed said, An Iman bil Qadr, Khayrihi wa Shar, wa Tasdeek bi Ahadith fihi. That, that Ahl Sunnah, from the Sul of Ahl Sunnah, is that they have Iman, they believe in the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the good and the evil of it. And the Ahadith that came that explain the Qadr. They believe in it and they do not say why, or they do not say how, but rather they believe and they have Iman in that. So Ahl Sunnah. Is suffices with the text, the nasus from the Quran and the Sunnah about the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ahl Sunnah does not question, does not distort, does not look further into that which we, have, we don't have knowledge of. We, we only know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, and Allah has only given us a little knowledge. So Ahl Sunnah suffices is what, from what they get. In the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from those authentic ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't and we don't ask how, we don't ask why regarding the qadr and regarding other than the qadr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. For example, a, a big mystery, especially for the Ashadis and other groups, they say with the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they don't deny that maybe it's authentic. The hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he said. يَنزِلُوا رَبُّنَا تُبَارَكُ تَعَلَى كُلُّ ثُلُثَ لَيْلَ الْآخِرِ فَيَقُولُ مَنْ يَدْعُنِي فَاسْتَجِيبُ لَهُ مَنْ يَسْأَلَنِي فَعُطِي وَمَنْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونِي فَاغْفِرُ لَهُ رُوَاهُ مُسْلِمْ This is a hadith of Sahih Muslim. The Prophet Wasallam said, Our Lord, يَنزِلُوا رَبُّنَا تُبَارَكُ تَعَلَى كُلُّ ثُلُثَ لَيْلَ الْآخِرِ That our Lord, our Lord, Subhana, the Almighty, He descends to the lowest heaven, the last third of every last third of the night, and he asks the angels, "Who is supplicating to me? I will give him. Who is asking of me? Then, then I, 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 who is supplicating of me? I will answer him. Who is asking of me? I will give him. And who is uh, seeking my forgiveness? I will forgive him." Sahih, that's in Sahih Muslim. Allah Sunnah says we believe in that. We don't say, "Hey." 
in Saudi Arabia it's this time it's night and now it's day in Seattle how could that you uh, be you know where we don't ask how how that could be those two different times or it's such and such time in China and Indonesia but here in uh, but it's such and such time in Russia or, or in in uh, uh, France or what have you Ahl Sunnah doesn't ask they don't get into those matters that have no benefit of us but we believe in the nusus that's iman that's iman bil ghaib that's what Ahl Sunnah suffices them that's the difference between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah Ahl Bid'ah they want to distort and explain in manners to fit their individual intellects and of course people have different intellectual capacities no two people are the same their IQ is different the the way they think is different different even if they have the same belief or the same whatever they don't see the world exactly in the same way not exactly you know and if you you if something is related to someone or uh, comes through to them through their senses they're not going to register it exactly the same if you and I sit here and we look at this tree for example or look at something we're not going to say oh I see the yellow flower he sees the yellow flower but perhaps we're going to notice something slightly different each one of us our perception is different and this is why Ahl Sunnah they suffice with the nusus they suffice with what they have evidence for and they don't speculate about those things they don't have evidence for we don't say well how how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descend does that mean Allah is in a in a place does that mean Allah is confined Ahl Sunnah doesn't get into those arguments we don't even have to deal with that our hearts don't have to be heavy with that but Ahl Bid'a they busy themselves they say hey you're restrict you're making Allah like his creation because he's descending or hey you're making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, you're you're confining him to a place or a space and this is disbelief Ahl Sunnah we say la we don't have to get into any of those arguments we don't even have to waste time with that we just suffice with the knowledge of the unseen the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it we believe it bas yakfina and that's why you see ahli iman Allah characterizes them in the Quran qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem fi surah al-baqarah qala tabarak wa ta'ala ba'da a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim alif lam mim dhalik al-kitab la rayb fi hudan lil muttaqin alladhina yu'minuna bil ghaib wa yuqimuna as-salata wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after alif lam mim qala subhana he says, "Dalik al-kitab la rayb fi." That is the book, meaning the Quran is the book that the, which in which there is no doubt. Believe in the Quran, every story in it, every uh, uh, um, uh, uh, aspect of Tawheed and, and 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 about your Lord, about His characteristics and, and His names and divine sifat. Believe in it, accept it. Dalik al-kitab la rayb fi. That is the book which the, which there is no doubt therein. Dalik al-kitab la rayb fi. Hudan lil muttaqin. It is a guidance <coughs> for those people who are pious. Those people who are pi- piety and taqwa, the Quran is a guidance for them. It's a guidance for us all, all of us weak Muslims. We're weak in our iman, we're striving. It's a guidance for us too if we go back to it. Dalik al-kitab al-la rayb fi hudan lil muttaqin. But the muttaqin, those people who have uh, are a god conscious, they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do his commandments, they avoid his prohibitions. That's really guidance for them. Because they their hearts are just comforted with iman. They say, "Yeah, my desires incline me towards this. I'm not really tripping because I have iman billah. I have the Quran and that suffices me. I can read the Quran at night. I don't have to look at a movie. I don't have to watch this. I don't have to look at that. I don't have to listen to that. I don't have to go to this place or that place. It suffice. That's ahl taqwa. But many of us unfortunately are not on that level. but it's still guidance hudan lil muttaqin it is guidance for the muttaqin then the point alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaibi wa yuqimuna as-salat those people who believe in the ghaib Allah has given the characteristics of the believer again and this is the this is the characteristics of ahl sunnah alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaib those people who believe in the unseen i've never seen a jinn not that i recognized but i believe in the jinn i believe the jinn are, especially out here in these mountains we believe in the shaitan i've never seen i've seen devils amongst mankind but i've never seen the shaitan i've never seen that pure evil even that is just when i looked at a person i was i felt fear i haven't experienced that or i've never seen the angels but i know they exist and i believe in them 
All of those things which is in the knowledge of the unseen, we believe. Those people who believe in the ghayb, they believe in the unseen. And they don't ask how. They don't ask why. This is the point. Imam Ahmed is explaining here, Ahl Sunnah, what is the qaida and the principles of Ahl Sunnah is that they make, t- they have taslim with the nasus, they are, uh, they are uh, 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 comforted and they don't go beyond the text. Oh, Allah, call Allah? Allah said this? I'm with that. The Prophet Sallallahu said this? I'm with that. The salaf for this ummah were upon this? I'm on that. That's Ahl Sunnah. Those are the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Iman. Aladina yu'minuna bil ghayb, wa yuqimuna salat, and they establish the prayer. Wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun, and from their wealth, what Allah has given them, they spend. This is the important characteristic of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah that Imam Ahmed was was explaining, was giving us here. And we're going to look at some of the uh, further in depth on the same ibarah the next time we sit, uh, looking at what Sheikh Ubaid has to say regarding this, what Sheikh uh, Abdulaziz uh, 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 Rajihi and some of the, uh, our other scholars, what they have to say so we can benefit further and in depth about these issues regarding the creed of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.